حبس توي كبد يحب غليك هاد ما كاحل Back in Somalia, weaving is an, a very important tradition. Weaving is actually used to cover the houses. So we have Somali traditional hut, which is called the Aqal Somali, and weaving um, mats is an important factor of, of the Aqal. Um, it keeps it warm, it keeps it decorative, it has beautiful colors. A lot of the techniques or the way we make the mats is all done by hands and without tools. Even so, a lot of the things that we make from weaving are sealed tight and no water gets through them. So if you want, if you, you know, it's very versatile. If you made a basket by hand, you could put from anything solid to anything liquid. So meat and also water. Do you know how to weave? I don't know how to weave. <laughs> My grandma actually um, tried to teach me when I was younger. Um, Apparently, I was very bad at it, so she never continued. <laughs> How do you want to learn now? <clears throat> I think I definitely want to learn. I see the elders or the artists that we have here um, at the museum working at it, and they're very quick with their hands too. They're amazing teachers, but I can never seem to do it the way that they do. But hopefully, you know, practice makes perfect, and I. I will be as good as them one day. Here at the Somali Museum of Minnesota, we have the weaving program, which is one of the programs, one of the many programs that we offer here. And it consists of a group of grandmas or artists. They actually go and teach weaving to people who are interested. The weaving program is open to everyone from different backgrounds, whether you're Somali or not, um, and it's also for different age groups. This was my first time going to a Somali weaving class, and I was surprised how easy it was. I was assuming like I had to do something complicated. I didn't know I don't know how to knit, so I assumed that I had to do something with sticks, but. Yeah, I mean, I know basic weaving is like putting string and putting it in and out, but I didn't know like anything more than that. It's cool to see the class and the final products on the table. I think it's important to pass down the weaving tradition to younger generations because it gives them a sense of connection to where um, their family is from or their culture and background. Weaving isn't used anymore for a sense of survival or you know using it for a roof over your head. It's more so kind of sitting down with your elders and you know exchanging stories with them along the weaving process. Um, it isn't just like learning about it, it's the stories that come out of that session that you're sitting with the people who are teaching you. Just be open to it. It doesn't look like it's fun, but it's really fun. <laughs>